Welcome back, YouTube. I'm Edwin. And I'm Joseph. And this is Edwin, Edwin and Joseph, Joseph Talks. Talks. So, much like Guns N' Roses in their last video, or their last CD, we're going to talk about Chinese democracy. So, do you want to explain to them what's been going on, just in case they haven't heard? So, I'm going to give kind of a, a little bit of a backstory of how I found out about this. I was at work co-worker of mine was like, dude, have you checked this out? And I'm like, what are you talking about? So on Twitter, there was all these things saying the Chinese purge. And it had a bunch of people. They were in white. They had the, you know, the surgical masks. They had sticks. And they were like hitting all these people in subways, bus stops, and all this. And I'm like, what is going on? Is this, you know, for real? And the footage was definitely real. Now, the thing that we've seen that was talking about this purge was fake, absolutely fake. Now, a lot of these footages that was taken that day, the Chinese government has tried to get off of Twitter. Yeah. So they've been coming off there. But I did some more investigation. What this has to do about was there was a bill passed about anti-extradition in Hong Kong. It was called the Fugitive Offenders and Mutual Legal Assistance and Criminal Matters Legislation Amendment Bill. And it was proposed by the Hong Kong government. Now, at first, when I started looking at it, I was like, well, okay, what's, what's the big deal on this? And so I was doing some research. Other than, you know, all the crazy violence that's going on, the citizens have been going, like, even now there's stuff, protests going on. It's been going on for weeks now. Yeah. Now, I don't watch a lot of news. I don't I, know. I do, but for some reason I didn't hear about that, so you got a hold of me. I, yeah, I haven't heard much on this. I mean, maybe if you watch, like, CNN a lot. Maybe or something that, like yeah, that. CNN's not something I So we don't really watch too much of like the big, big news things. But this is, I could see it as a big deal as a world thing because of the protests and stuff. Now, if you didn't hear about it and you just saw a video, you could have swore it was an actual purge with the way things were going down. Yeah. I th at first I was like, oh, wow, they're they're actually purging. Yeah, I mean... Um, but this morning I was looking at I was like, well, why why is this a big thing? Like, why is so many people protesting against this? And from what I've seen is Hong Kong had its kind of its own uh, regulations when it comes down to how they do criminals and exportation of criminals and such like that. China has its own regulations and it also has to do with Taiwan. Okay. I'm not going to lie, I'm still trying to figure out this whole correlation. But there's a lot of corrupt politics that I'm reading about that's coming from what they call mainland China. So this new bill is going to make Hong Kong's regulations go with mainland China and I think that hurts a lot of people that I, I don't know the extraditing and stuff like that of these people now I, I had read that case where there was a Taiwanese gentleman that killed his uh, pregnant girlfriend and then went to Hong Kong to I think get out of it yeah cause I mean he confessed and everything yeah and there was nothing Hong Kong could do. Or but he was in Hong Kong, so they're like, okay. We can do nothing about it. And I think what this bill was supposed to do was be able to make it where that guy can be tried knowing that he actually did it. And like I said, I don't know. I'm not Chinese. I've never been to China. No. never been to Hong Kong. I don't know the politics of all this or even why there's so much protest. I'm just trying to figure it out. But it's such a big deal. Look up some of the the videos on Twitter. Most of it was on Twitter. Yeah. Um, they were hashtagging it, pray for Hong Kong. 
So go to Twitter, look up hashtag Pray for Hong Kong, and you can see some of the the stuff that was happening. You can see the protests and all the, the mass chaos that's going on. Now, something like this, how do you think it affects, like, the United States? I mean, it's almost, I mean, if you, if you look at it there, and, I mean, yeah, our politics run a little differently than China does, but you got to... You got to stop and think. I mean, if something like that can happen out there over whatever, I mean, whether it's corruption or just disagreement with the government, it's almost likely to happen here too, depending on the mm -hmm. scenario, you know? Um, I mean, just, just think about being out at a mall or, you know, at an airport waiting for a flight. And out of nowhere, this group of people just comes out and just starts bashing on people, you know? You know, bringing up on the U.S. on that, it would probably be worse here because I don't think that Chinese people are allowed to have firearms. If there are, there's stricter laws than yeah, we have here. Way stricter, but if I'm... Because mainland China is communist, and mm -hmm. I want to say they regulate that where yeah. they're not supposed to. Where here, if something like that happened here, there's probably going to be mass shootings. Yeah. It's going to be way more intense especially if some fake bank came out about a purge you know yeah people people i mean I'm, i don't mean disrespect here but people are dumb when it comes to talk stuff like that you know and i mean look at the area 51 thing we don't know how many people are taking it seriously and how many people are taking it as mm -hmm. a joke i mean something like a purge thing gets going and it actually catches speed yeah i can see that happening man. so you know, with this one, I would like to see the stuff in China resolved. You know, we have our places in history in the U.S. Mm -hmm. that protests, violence. I think Berkeley was a big one around, like, the 60s and 70s, yeah. around the era. About, you know, uh, like Vietnam and stuff like and that. that. And So we've had that in our history, but this is like... I've never seen just people running up in subways and just hitting regular people and stuff like that. I mean, you would you would have to see it to understand why they're calling it a purge. It's it's pretty graphic. Yeah. It's it's just a big group of people just going at it with other people, man. And recently, it's been most of the protesters against the police, uh, you know, the police force, and one thing that. Because I'm trying to wrap my my head around the whole political side of it. Um, I kind of mentioned to you, because Hong Kong kind of has its own little government structure. Mm -hmm. um, they, in fact, I was reading in 1997, they rejoined with uh, China. Um I never knew that there was a separation in there or any of that. Yeah, I didn't know about that either. So a lot of this, you know, there's a lot of history stuff that I don't know on that part. I'm not going to try to say I do. Um, you know, is it is it a political struggle to what I was talking about? Almost like they have more a democracy, they have more of a communistic state that's clashing, or is it... Yeah, I, I just, I don't, I'm, not, I'm still trying to figure out this whole power struggle and why it's happening. All we know, it is happening. It's a major world event. You guys probably research, check it out. If you got Twitter, definitely uh, check out the videos, check out what's going on out there. It's pretty, it's pretty harsh. Um, you know, hopefully, I mean, our, our, our country in itself is already divided as far as politics go. Um, you see it everywhere on the news. It's on your Facebook feed. It's everywhere. Um, you know, we just we just got to catch ourselves and start thinking more rationally. And yeah, there's going to be things that upset us. There's going to be things that not everybody's going to agree with. But you know, watch watch these videos, and hopefully, it'll help you. It's, it'll help you kind of try not to react that way if something happens because it's 
it's pretty it's it's kind of messed up what's going on out there right now yeah um if you guys have any comments on it definitely hit us up with a comment uh like subscribe hit the notification bell for new content uh like we said in the last video this week we only have three videos instead of five it'll be a monday wednesday friday it's been a busy week guys we'll uh we'll try to go back to five next week but thank you for giving us your time today and we'll see you guys next time